Hey sunshines, welcome back and thanks for popping in. I am so glad you're here. So for today's video, I have another new to the channel subscription box to share with you. And this one is called the Willow Nook Box. This is a quarterly home focused lifestyle box. I have to say quarterly and lifestyle boxes are my absolute favorite to open. So this one feels like it's gonna be right up my alley. It says that in this box every quarter, you're gonna find home decor items, home goods as well as self-care and bath and body type items. You're also gonna get an art print card every quarter with a recipe on it. I'm interested to kind of see what that looks like and what that's all about. In this box, you will have at least five items, one of which is going to be a handmade item from a small sourced artisan, which I think is really cool. Now this box is $99 a quarter, and if after watching this unboxing, you decide that you wanna jump on the Willow Nook train. You can use my code to get $10 off your first box. I have a second code though. Apparently they have a little shop on their website and the code is for 20% off anything in the shop. So you can kind of go over there and browse around and see what you can find. As always, if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscription button and giving this video a thumbs up. I would absolutely love to have you as part of my Georgia Sunshine family. So when you get your box, it looks like this. And the tape says Willow Nook and it's got these gorgeous like blue hydrangeas. I did just go ahead and slip the tape to make the video a little easier. But then there's a little sticker on the side that says, I hope this makes you smile. So let me go ahead and put my glasses on. So when you open it up, oh, we're kind of carrying the blue hydrangea theme from the tape into the box. So we've got that guy. I love a blue hydrangea. They're my absolute favorites. Then we have the summer 2023 little pamphlet. This is the summer box. It says how to open this box, prepare your favorite drink, put on your favorite music, settle into your nook, take a deep breath and open your willow nook box and get creative. Now it does look like she made a playlist for us. It's over on Spotify. So there's a QR code here. I'd be interested to see what she put on the playlist. I'll have to go over and listen. And then in the box, there's a little note from Carissa, who is the owner. It looks like we're gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items. Remember we get at least five. So nine seems like a really good amount of items. There's some summer self-care tips on the back. I'll give you one of them. What does it say? Enjoy locally grown seasonal fruits and vegetables. That is taking care of yourself. That is a good form of self-care. Okay, we're gonna open it up. Ooh, look at all this. <laughs> I have to say, I'm gonna go right to this. <clears throat> this is a fresh herb saver. So what do you do? You pick your herbs, triples the life of fresh herbs. How interesting is this? So I bet you fill it full of water, if I had to guess, and then put it in your fridge. Yes, yeah. so here's a little place for your water to go. I gotta tell you, this is gonna save me so much money in cilantro alone. Cilantro does not last very long at all, and we use cilantro in everything. So I feel like I'm constantly going up to the store for lots of herbs, but for specifically cilantro, because I might make it on Monday and then I need a recipe for it on Thursday and it's already like wilted and yucky looking. I love this idea. And I've never seen this in a subscription box before. So your herbs go in here. You've got your water here. Let's see if she talks about it a little bit. I'm sure she does. It says that this guy is a, oh, only $9 value. That's pretty awesome. Triples the life of your fresh herbs. Also great for vegetables such as asparagus. That's another one we have trouble keeping. It always gets a little like, you know what I mean? A little flimsy. And celery. Easy to use. Place your herbs into the pod and add water throughout the spout. Okay, I gotta say I'm all about this. If this is the type of home goods we're gonna get, like fun gadgets that are actually usable, I'm sold. Okay, the next thing we have in here is, what is this? A limited edition Terrazzo Collection Porter. This looks like it might be some kind of cup and it's like a confetti type of pattern. It says Terrazzo is an iconic composite material originally developed in Venice, Italy, traditionally made from a binder material of concrete filled with bits of colorful stone. We crafted our limited edition Terrazzo Collection from 100% food safe, 
silicone. I remember my parents always talking about in the 70s, like terrazzo floors and countertops and things. Do y'all remember that? Okay. Some of you will not because you're younger. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so it's like a travel mug. So it's got the little spout where you can open it and close it. Let's see, got some paper here. So it does have that like vacuum silicone seal. So it's gonna keep anything fresh, hot or cold. Oh, this is neat. It's like one of those like sleeves. I have these on a lot of my glass water bottles. That way, if you break it or you drop it, it doesn't break this kind of the silicone overlay. You can kind of see, um, protects it. and also makes it dang pretty. How gorgeous is that? All right, I really like this box. Let's see um, what the value of that guy is. That's pretty too. That is the W&P Pink Terrazzo 16 ounce Porter Mug. It is a $30 value. Definitely use that. Okay, there's something kind of cloth in here. Is this a little wrap or a little kimono? You know, those always make me happy. The color of this is really pretty too. Do you see it? It's like this dusty pink got a little bit of distressing which is nice all right what is it scarf wrap what are you it looks like it has arms hold on why can't I find this you guys here it is here it is okay yeah it is one of those like little little wraps and it's got arm holes in it so just put a little tank top under it these are really light to have on you can take to a restaurant over a um a little dress like I say I always like to put this on with like a tank top rolled up boyfriend jeans and some sneakers and you're good to go you could put this over a bathing suit if you're going to the lake or the pool that is great to have okay I love the color of it too it says that that guy is the Laura Janelle boho print pink kimono for $25 Ooh, look at this gosh there's a lot in here this is a little like wind chime. I don't think it has the sound though. I think it's just really pretty. It's got the dragonfly with the beads and the little bottom here. Oh, I really like this for out in my garden. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, let's see what it says about that. That is the um, dragonfly wind chime from Benjamin International. Very cool, it's an $11 value. So just something pretty. This may be something that I save back. My stepmom has got the most gorgeous little gardens um, in the back of her house. She just loves going back there. She has all kinds of flags and ornaments and fun designs amidst all of her flowers and things. That might be really cute to add to like her little stocking at Christmas. Really pretty. Right, so the next thing in here is by Pinchberry. This is a tropical sunshine lime and jasmine soap. It does say this is one of our handcrafted items. Remember, we're going to get at least one, but in this box, it looks like we're going to get three. Look how pretty it is. Let's take a peek inside. Oh, mine has like a little, almost like a sailboat. Do you see it? And then it's got some kind of like exfoliant on the top. Let's smell it. Ooh, this smells straight up like the beach, but then at the end of the sniff, it gives you a little like zing of lime in the best way. Ooh, that's nice. It's lovely. I'm in awe of how they can like make designs out of soap. I'm creative, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm that creative. So it says Finchberry creates beautiful artisan Handcrafted soaps with high quality preservative free vegan ingredients. They describe their soaps as not just a cleanser, but as a sensory experience. We've included a soap saver. Oh, to extend the life of your soap. But this is must be it. It says Finchberry, which I will say that nicer quality soaps like this, I always find melt just a little bit faster than like a regular dial soap or something you get at the store. So this is nice to have. You can put it in your soap dish and put this on there. That way it'll save it a little bit from just being melty on your soap dispenser or soap bar. Nice, that is gorgeous. All right, the next thing we have in here is a lavender thorn 
Sunset Spritz. This is an after sun soothing mist. Look how pretty that bottle is. Oh my goodness. After I use this mist, I think I'm going to save this bottle because it would be pretty to just put water in to like squirt your hair if you need to wet it before you're going out to style it or you want to put like a linen spray in here or I don't know, so many things. Isn't that bottle gorgeous? I will definitely reuse that. It says that this is an $18 value. It says to shake it well and after sun. Let's see. Oh, it is a nice mist. Mmm. It almost smells like it has a little peppermint or something in it. Um, no harsh chemicals, no artificial fragrances, no synthetic preservatives. It has a green mission. It's dye free. Nice. It's really lovely. It's not like overpoweringly lavender, but if you're getting out of the sun or maybe you're outside, like I I was outside all yesterday in my pool. I would get out, read my book for a little while, get back in. This would be nice if you're just getting hot. Maybe you're even coming in from mowing the lawn or something. That's nice to have. That bottle is beautiful. Wow, this box is good and we are still going. Okay, there's something at the bottom here looks like this this is an island breeze oh potpourri i haven't had old school potpourri in so long and this smells so lovely so lovely if you get any of those little organza bags in subscription boxes you can fill those this with those organza bags put them in your like underwear drawer, your closet, you can put them under your car seat to make your car smell good. Or you can just obviously put these in a bowl and they'll be really, really pretty. Gosh, they smell delightful. So that's what they look like. It says that this is the Your Home Island Breeze Potpourri. It's an $8 value and this is also from a small artisan and is handcrafted. Okay, down on the bottom we have a Hello summer little sticker um, we have a ooh, what is this we have homework <laughs> which is kind of cool what is this it says transforming chores into rituals a step-by-step -step worksheet to help you conquer procrastination man do i need that get through your most mundane task quickly and feel great about it. It says start with one routine that you struggle with. It's kind of like that book, Eat the Frog, where you're supposed to eat, do the hardest thing of your day first and just get it out of the way. Um, what about this task do you find unpleasant? How cool would you, what would you rather be doing? Then you can put that in here. Oh, this is neat. Okay, I really like this. I think this will help you kind of get through like why you're procrastinating on something and get to the nitty gritty because sometimes a lot of times there's an underlying issue. I know for me there is usually anyway. How interesting. I like that they included that. Okay. Oh, here's our little art card. Gosh, this box keeps going. This is a watermelon mint granita. And it's our little art card with our recipe. So you could put this um, on your refrigerator. You could frame it and put this like near your tear tray in your kitchen or something. It is pretty. It says you need three cups of cubed watermelon, fresh mint leaves, lime, and simple syrup. Yum, you could make it with coconut lime or you could make an orange pineapple one. How beautiful. That looks so refreshing, doesn't it? Yum. Okay, and apparently we get these one, these every single time. There's one other thing down in the box and it's sealed. So let me grab my little um, cutter here and see what's inside this. This is another handcrafted item. I love that it's got shredded paper inside, a little bit more environmentally friendly. There's a lot of paper in here. Okay. What is this? There's, what is this? Oh my goodness. There is an entire, like, this looks like driftwood. Hold on. Let me open this guy up because I'm super intrigued. 
And then there's like a vase or a bowl that goes on top of it. I wonder if this, I think this is. You can tell that the wood is kind of burnt just a little bit. I think that this glass was made and molded to fit on this particular, yes, piece of driftwood. Do you see all of the little grooves and indentions here? So it actually sits perfectly. Now I took it off, so I need to figure out how it goes back on here. Yes, just like this on the driftwood. And you could put your potpourri on here. I don't think the camera's doing this justice. It's really beautiful, interesting, different. Because this is glass, this would be really fun to do like summer dips or salsas or anything if you didn't want to do the potpourri. Wouldn't that be a pretty little serving dish? And driftwood, it reminds you of the ocean. Have you guys ever been to Jekyll Island and seen the driftwood beach? I don't remember if that's what it's called. I think it is so, so beautiful. Okay, it says this is a $49 value. This is one of our handmade items from Benjamin International. It says Benjamin International ethically sources and imports fair trade handcrafted products from emerging artisan markets around the world. The bowl is made in India as a work of art and no two are identical. That is beautiful. And actually they have berries put in theirs. But again, we got that gorgeous potpourri. That would be pretty if you didn't have anywhere to put your potpourri. It did. It does talk about the Sunset Spritz by Lavender Thorn. It says Lavender Thorn is, Thorn is a small, all natural lavender brand founded by two women. The Sunset Spray will soothe your skin after sun exposure with witch hazel, aloe vera, lavender and peppermint. I thought it had peppermint in it. It smells divine. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about this box. I've been unboxing boxes for over seven years and I feel like I've seen it all. It's very, very rare that I will find a box that will show me something that I've never seen before and make me excited. And this one definitely did it. I would love to have a second date, check it out again. Um, I didn't even know that I was opening the like piece de resistance piece, the little driftwood with glass bowl on it last. It was a great finale. I loved how different it was. I love how everybody's wood and bowl is going to be just a little bit different and it's handcrafted. Um, again, that was $49. We got the dragonfly wind chime, which was beautiful. The island breeze potpourri. I don't think I've ever received like potpourri, like proper potpourri like that in a box. I don't remember ever getting any. <laughs> the uh, pink kimono, super useful. Put it on over a tank top or a t-shirt. Put it on over your bathing suit. I think you'll get a lot of use out of that. The sunshine box soap, chef's kiss. That scent is beautiful. And we also got the soap saver. The soap was 10, the soap saver was four. The lavender thorn sunset spritz was $18. The pink terrazzo porter mug, how gorgeous is that mug, $30 value, as well as, I gotta say, I'm most excited about this. This is so useful and perfect for my life. It's only a $9 item, but I didn't know something like this. I mean, I've seen different kind of herb savers before, but this one looks interesting and different. I'm hoping it's gonna save my cilantro. We also got the recipe art card, as well as a self-care worksheet. Now the self-care worksheet says it was transforming chores into rituals. So I wonder with this box, if we get a different kind of worksheet every single time, kind of like a self-help type worksheet. I'm not opposed to getting that. They didn't put a value on here, but I didn't even really, I don't think count those in the nine items, the art print or the worksheet. So I think technically we got 10 items in this box. I gotta say, I'm pretty darn impressed. What do you think? Again, if you wanna try this box, I have that discount code for $10 off your first box or 20% off of anything else in their store. I'll link that below. Also, I will put it in the very first uh, comment under this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And you guys, I'll see you soon for another one. Bye-bye.